<gasps> you know, um, so, so, I mean, what do you kind of expect out of this, this run, you know, this <laughs> one more run, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just having fun. God, I, I don't expect anything. I made it clear. I don't want to have anything to say. I'll just tell me where to go, what to do. I don't have any, I, any ideas. I don't have any suggestions unless I'm asked. <laughs> I'm just going to go and have fun. And it is fun seeing all those guys and everybody was so respectful. I mean, it just, it, it's, it's, it's addictive and I'm, and it's, it's my life. It's all I've ever been good at. Yeah. What, uh, you know, I've been in the gym business and all that. And I enjoyed that, but it's not the same thing as walking out in front of a live audience. Yeah. And, and, and being comfortable with the people you're in the ring with. Yeah. And being, res and, and respecting the people you're in the ring with. You know, when you go back, I mean, because this, this whole thing is predicated on, on Sting retiring and Sting, stuck around longer than you know mm -hmm. i would have ever imagined when sting was younger you know it was always like i am you know and here he is and and but this is like the real last hurrah mm -hmm. of one of your you know one of your greatest rivals and, yeah and and a guy who you know i mean one of the things with sting is is he gives you so much respect i mean it is true that's what happened i mean i was you know we were all watching that day and it was sting was a guy who we knew was a was a rising star but he went from being a rising star to a superstar in, in 45 minutes, basically. And you were the, the maestro that day. And, and to his credit, he obviously never forgot it. Well, it's too, I know I got to say, well, I think it was like 53 minutes, right? 45, I think. 40. Okay. Well, whatever it was, it was a yeah. long time. And um, <laughs> um, for, for a guy like he'd never done it. No, nothing like that. And so I was just saying to somebody, I, I, he gives me that credit, but he made himself. A lot of guys that haven't gone 45 minutes because we don't sit in rest holes. Yeah. We didn't, you know, I don't, that's not the way it ever worked. We, we, we just kept going and going and going and he never took a deep breath. So I, I mean, it was, it was I in charge of it? Yeah. But I mean, the, uh, I mean, I, he didn't take a deep breath and he didn't flinch and he didn't, I mean, I was calling it on the fly. We didn't rehearse it. I mean, I just said, "Trust me," and you know, and we made we made we made magic. And then, then we had got just years of working together. We've yeah. never had a bad match. I mean, that's that's hard to say. Yeah. Now, now that going back to that day, I mean, did you know Sting would be that good going into the ring? That that I had no idea. You'd work, you'd work with him a few times, but, but, um, this yeah, yeah, but, uh, and that, but not long to not long matches. No, no, just normal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, like 20 minutes or something. But. At what point in that match? And obviously you're on national TV, first class of the champion. So it was a big, big number, you know, big, big rating. But at what point in that match did you, or, or in the knowledge of sting of where you went like, Oh, this guy is going to be special. You know, he's going to be one of those signature stars. 30 minutes in really. Yeah, because he wouldn't, he, he, he never said slow down. Mm -hmm. And he listened. And I'm like, when I said sit up, pound in your chair, that's me just ad living, but he got it. Yeah. I'm trying to turn it over. Because, you know, some guys, like this, you know, there's a big difference between going like this or having your arm and teasing it. And I mean, it's it's all, it, it's just stuff that some kids never learn. Mm -hmm. You tell some guy to turn it over and he just goes, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's all. It's the theatrics, you know what I mean? Mm. And he, he got it from day one. And I said to him that one time, when I go to reach the rope, I said, just push back. And he would push pull me back in, remember? When he had the figure four on me or something, he just, he got it. Yeah. And I mean, he, and you know how some guys hated me hitting him. I chopped that sting as hard as I hit Steamboat. <laughs> he didn't flinch. Yeah. He always let me hit him hard. When you, what, what would you say, you know, as far as today's wrestling, what do you like the most about it? And what do you feel is, if it's, if anything, if, is, if anything is missing or something that you, you say, like, you know, like, how would you kind of evaluate the changes in wrestling from your heyday to today? Oh, I don't know that I can change. I, I think, you know, the only things that I don't like today are the, uh, are the, I wish they were all the, the. I wish all the good matches were longer. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, I mean, I can't. I can't. I can't critique the wrestling. The wrestling is good. I, I just said 
That match between Omega and uh, and uh, MJ, 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 right? MJ from Saturday, yeah, yeah, and then the two weeks ago between Manny and Brian Danielson. That's oh, yeah. that, 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 that's as good a wrestling as there is in the world today. There's nothing better at WWE than that right now. Would yeah. you agree? Uh, it's top tier, you know. I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess so. I mean, WWE may do something, you know, Saturday with Drew McIntyre. No, no, no. I'm not. Saying that, but I'm saying, well, no, yeah. But, you, but you're right. Yeah. As individual matches, they're they're competing at a very high level. Those matches were incredible. Yeah, they were. You know, they were. They, I mean, it is. They too were. I mean, everybody's capable. Not everybody's capable of having a great match. That that's a myth in itself. Sometimes you can be over so much. You're, you're mistaking the, the guy being over right, rather than looking at his actual skill level. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, so those kids can work, man. One of the things that when, when, when I talk about, like, the greatest wrestlers ever, I mean, there's there's a difference in the sense of these guys are working, you know, 30, 40 matches a year. Mm -hmm. And and with you, you know, you were working 300 and, and more. Um, in your heyday so there's a different mentality in the sense that um mm -hmm. you know you can you can go wilder um but it also you know and some sometimes we go like maybe the fewer dates leads to more injuries because it's because i feel like guys are getting hurt more um working far less and um do you feel, you know, because you've, you've done everything in the sense of you've done the 300 day of your schedule and you've also done a light schedule later in your career. Do you feel that the 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 heavier schedule gets you in, whether it's better condition or or more body calloused or something that it makes it um, that it prevents injuries? Or do you think that's not the case? Time off is the wrestler's worst enemy. Mm -hmm. I've always said that. I like working all the time. I did. And it was actually it was, it was 365 days a year. <laughs> not 300 it was 300 hour broadways <laughs> um but i know i just think that uh, uh what what i do worry about it i mean they do so many high incredible things that i'm not saying steamboat couldn't have done or i couldn't have done if i if that was popular back then but they made it these high impact moves and i think that's the reason for all the injuries i mean you know, I mean, everybody's trying to do something that some people just aren't qualified to do. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I saw him do that. I can do it. Well, that's not always the way it works. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That, well, yeah. And that's why I think it's like I was saying earlier, when Rhea Ripley gave Ashley that inverted belly to whatever it was last year on off the second rope and she landed on her face, you know, she's 5'11 or 5'10. She's not 5'2". What a bump, right? Mm -hmm. He had to trust Rhea. But it, you got to have confidence in in, in your in your, your opponent, and they, she did. And look look at the match they had. I'm still mad they didn't go on last. <laughs> oh yeah, I, at the, the main. Yeah. The tag match was great, but you know the girls should have gone on last. Yeah. Well, I, at one point I thought that was the plan. You know, I think they were both told at different times because that, that, that's strictly that's strictly politics back there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I, I, get it. I get it, but at the same time, well, I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, they, but they, they they both had great matches, but I just thought that girls' match was special. Yeah. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.